What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd, bringing you practical and actionable dating advice that really works. Today we're gonna to be talking about five charismatic tips for men when they're talking to a girl that they like. Okay, well these tips are gonna be good if you're trying to attract a girl that you're talking to, but they're gonna be probably good for any types of situations. You know, you can be charismatic in your everyday life, work, uh, networking events, whatever it is. Uh, and when I saw people doing this, I remember looking at certain people when I was going out to bars um, and nightclubs or whatever, and certain guys would be able to captivate a girl's attention. And you know, if you take the looks thing aside, there were certain guys that could hold a girl's attention and they would be super interested in her, or they could take a girl that was kind of on the fence with them and you know, maybe didn't know if she liked him or not, but by the end of the conversation, the girl was totally into him. And I really spent a long time trying to figure out how to do this because when I would talk to women, uh, I would have the opposite effect. They kind of would like look away, they wouldn't really want to talk to me, and eventually they would just kind of make an excuse to go to the bathroom or something like that. So I made a special effort to try and figure out how to do this. Um, and after going out a lot, you know, reading different books, practicing a hell of a lot, uh, I can do the exact same thing that those guys could do. You know, I could take a girl that you know may, may or may not like me on the fence, and then as the conversation progresses, now she's decided that she's interested in me and that she wants to get with me. So if you want to be like this, pay attention to this video. Pay attention to the five tips that I'm giving because these are really gonna help you out. You know, they're small things, but if you add them all together, they're gonna make a huge difference. Okay, before I get into the tips, if you're looking to coach by me one-on-one -on -one, where I teach you guys exactly how to do this sort of thing, uh, fill out the form below. Basically, if you fill it out and you feel like you're a good fit, then we'll get back to you and we'll see if it makes sense for you to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, cool, so the first tip that I'm going to give you is a pretty simple one that some of you might do, but probably not enough, and that's, be active listening. And when I mean active listening, I mean nod your head. Kind of like give a little bit of a subtle acknowledgement after somebody says something. So if you're having a conversation with somebody and they're telling you a story or whatever, just literally just looking at them with like a friendly face and being like, huh, interesting. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Just looking at them and nodding is a really great way to build rapport with somebody. You know, they not only have they done studies on this, but they've also seen, you can also see this in everyday life. I mean, when someone is like very actively listening to you, looking at you, acknowledging the stuff that you say, you feel better about yourself. You wanna tell the story more. And the studies that they've shown, they've shown that men who do this were rated as more attractive than guys that just didn't really give much of a reaction to the conversation. Um, not just that the women felt better about themselves talking to them, but they actually rated the men that they were talking to more attractive as well too. So listening is a huge part of the conversation, probably the most important thing in the conversation. And the way that you show that you're listening to a person is by nodding your head, looking at them, making good eye contact, I mean, just acknowledging the things that they say. You can, all, you, can, you can also mimic the reactions that they give when they tell you a story, like, oh, I just got promoted, and you're like, oh, cool. So you mimic their reactions a little bit, and that'll feel like they're more connected to you. Okay, so this leads me into my second point, um, which is after they say something, after they finish, pause for just half a second before you respond. There's a lot of guys who do this really well, a lot of politicians, but I think Bill Clinton probably, and I talk about Bill a lot on this channel, regardless of what you think about his politics, Bill is probably one of the most charismatic guys on the planet. You know, I can't think of a more charismatic guy than Bill at the moment. You know, if you can think of one, put it in the comment section below, would love to hear it. And what they'll do a lot is Bill will be talking to a guy or he'll be getting interviewed by somebody and they'll ask him a question and they'll say, hey Bill, so what do you think about this? And rather than just responding super quickly, which is what most people tend to do, because a lot of people, they are not, rather than taking the time to listen, digest and respond, they are just waiting their turn to say what they want to say. But what Bill does is he really listens to what the person has to say, he digests it, and then takes the time to respond. This makes the person feel a lot more important when they're talking to him, and if you know anything about person-to-person -person interactions, if you feel really important around another person, you're gonna be really attracted to them. So what he does is they'll say, hey, Bill, what do you think about this? And he'll be like, hmm. Yeah, so when, and then he'll go into what he's, what he's saying. So just pause for half a second, rather than, what do you think about this? Oh, well, I think, rather, or, or cut people off, you know, like let people finish, be more relaxed, and just take that half a second to respond, and it'll make a world of difference. Okay, third thing, tonality. 
A lot of guys, when they are going into a conversation or when they're speaking to people, especially when they first start talking to them, they, they get into, their tonality's all bad. If you come into a conversation and you're ending things with a slight upward inflection, or if you're talking with like, or everything's kind of sounding like a question where it's a little more high pitched, it's not gonna sound as attractive or as charismatic as if you end things at the end. So if I walked up to a group of girls and I was like, um, if I was gonna ask how a group of girls were doing, and I walked to was like, hey, how are you guys doing? Any little up? As opposed to, hey, how are you guys doing? The second one was a lot more attractive than the first one, okay? Women like men with deeper voices, but they especially do not like guys with uh, a voice that is rapport seeking. Rapport seeking is when you're ending things with a question because you are trying to get the person to like you, okay? People who end with their, um, people who end with their statements ending upwards a little bit, that's rapport seeking, meaning you're trying to have rapport with this person, okay? Um, or sorry, you're, not that you're trying to have rapport with them, it's more that you're approval seeking with them, okay? And that, you basically put yourself into a submissive, uh, to a submissive stance with them, and women do not want a submissive guy, they want a guy who's more dominant. So to have that dominant frame, that man to woman connection, you need to end things with a uh, downward a little bit more. And this brings me into my next point, point number four, which is speak slower. A lot of times what will happen, and this is a problem that I have too, you guys. I don't know if you notice on this channel, but I'll do this sometimes. If I get really excited, sometimes I'll speak really, really quickly. You wanna speak slower because when you speak slower, it's more deliberate, it sounds more dominant, and it sounds more masculine. It'll prevent you from ending things upward when you speak really, really fast and you just wanna get everything out. See, it just kind of goes up a little bit. But if you speak slower, that doesn't happen quite as much and things sound more secure and assertive when you say them like that. So I recommend if you feel like whatever speed that you talk at, if you feel like you speak too quickly, speak at about a third of the pace. And actually, this is really good for the bar and clubs environments because they're really loud. Like there's a lot of stuff happening and if you speak clearly and people can understand you, it's more likely they're gonna wanna keep talking to you. All right, cool. Uh, before I get into my last tip, you guys, if you're wondering if there is uh, a group of co or community out there of like-minded guys where you can connect with, you can post about your stories, or you can contact me a lot quicker, then I would recommend that you join my Facebook group where there's a lot of like-minded guys that are trying to improve their chances with women, trying to better themselves. And if you're one of those guys, please join the group down below, answer a few of those questions and we'll approve you. Again, I respond to things a lot quicker on that Facebook group than I do as opposed to an email or something like that. Okay, so the fifth and final thing is uh, eye contact. Having good eye contact. Remember when I was saying with the nodding thing? Have good eye contact when you have this. Now, when you're talking to people, a lot of times, and I have, I've had a few clients make this mistake, where they just continually stare at the other person. And they just, like, they just don't break. And it freaks people out. So you don't wanna have 100% eye contact. They've actually come up with a number, and I don't know if it's exactly right, but it's pretty close. It's kind of what I do. It's around 72%. You wanna have 72% eye contact when you're talking to somebody. That number is around what you should aim for. I, you know, I was thinking it was around 80%, but you know, numerous studies have proven that it's around 72%, so um, we'll just go with 72. That means don't stare at them the whole freaking time. Give, give them a little bit of a break, rest, you know, look down, maybe look up, compose your thoughts a little bit. If you have a drink, maybe sip it for a second. If you stare at them the whole time and you don't blink, people are gonna think you're a sociopath and you're gonna murder them. <laughs> uh, so vary your eye contact, be more relaxed, nod your head. Um, when they have a statement, take a little bit of time to respond and digest the information, then respond. Um, make sure that you're also, uh, what were the other ones? Make sure that you're using good tonality where you're ending things not with an upward inflection, but you're speaking in a low tone and then ending things downward, making them more deliberate, assertive, and dominant. And then also to speak slower. Okay, you guys, those are all the tips that I have. If you made it, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my live training program, I have a tentative schedule that I put down below. Please tell me which city you think would work best for you. If I get enough people to vote for a city, maybe I'll do two events there. Um, and if there's a city that I haven't included on the list and there's enough people that want me to come, I will come to that city. So uh, please fill out that survey if you wanna get coached by me live. 
And uh, yeah, we're doing boot camps around the world now. So thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.